Well, so Macbeth itself, I do like to read a lot, and I, I try to bring things from literature into my art. Like I, years ago, would write a lot of Edgar Allan Poe poems within my pieces. Uh, a lot of Victor Hugo stuff has influenced uh, my art. Um, so Macbeth uh, is just you know a character in Western civilization that's you know well known. And a corrupted soul, you know, you can't necessarily say all good or all bad, which is probably the same way I see graffiti. You can't say it's all good or all bad. Just like a lot of things in life, it has its its balance in both worlds. Um, so that was probably just, you know, the I just wanted to do something that was off the beaten path and, you know, touched into that um, that literature connection. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Being the fact that you're from that era, like you, 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 I would say you're from like the golden era of graffiti art, right? So, when did it really get to the point where, when they started cleaning up New York and stuff like that, where they, where it was really stopping y'all from doing tagging up excessively like how it was before? No, it, it, listen, it, it didn't stop us. If anything, we happen to be at the point where generation prior to the train era, when they saw the trains go away, the thing that they were most familiar with, they retired. The majority retired. 